Welcome all and thanks for watching Edupedia World videos. This is Vikas Patil. Our Earth is a unique planet. It has the right combination of conditions that can sustain life. It has water and a perfect atmosphere with vital oxygen that supports life. Have you ever thought why our Earth is so unique and why there is no life anywhere else but only on our planet? In order to understand why our Earth is so unique, we need to travel back in the history and unfold the mysteries of the processes that brought this blue planet into existence. In this chapter, we are going to explore not only the formation of Earth, but also the formation of our solar system, our sun, our galaxy, and of course, universe. This journey is going to be a fascinating one. So fasten your seatbelt and get ready to come with me on a journey to explore the past. First things first, let us get familiar with certain important terms that we are going to come across during this chapter. Universe Universe can be defined as everything. I mean everything that exists in space. Galaxy Galaxy can be defined as a group of billions of stars. For example, our solar system is in the galaxy known as Milky Way. Celestial bodies All physical objects present in space are called celestial bodies. It includes stars, planets, asteroids, comets and many more objects. Star. Star is a very hot celestial body that has life of its own. Our sun is a star. Constellation. Constellation is a group of stars that form a certain recognizable pattern. Planet. A planet is a large celestial body that does not have light of its own. The word planet comes from a Greek word which means wanderer. Nebula A nebula is a thick cloud of gas and dust. It is believed that nebula is the birthplace of stars. We will come across many other terms as well. Explanation to those terms will be given during the course of the chapter. Our first chapter of grade 9, Formation of Earth, has been divided into four topics. The topics are as follows. Formation of the Universe and the Solar System, Planets of our Solar System, Shape and Size of Earth, the Sun, Earth and Moon. In this session, we are going to focus on the formation of universe and our solar system. As stated earlier, universe can be defined as everything that exists in space. The problem is, no one knows exactly how big it is and where it ends. Since ancient times, Humans have gazed at the vast dark expanse above him, trying to unravel the mysteries of the universe. Our understanding about the universe has changed a lot over time. The ancient Greeks thought the universe contained only Earth at the center, the Sun, the Moon, the five planets and a sphere 
to which all the stars were attached. Most people had this basic idea of the universe for centuries until Galileo first used a telescope to look at the stars in the 17th century. Then people realized that Earth is not the center of the universe and there are many more stars than thought before. Even as recently as the early 20th century, some scientists still thought the universe was no larger than the Milky Way galaxy. With advancement in science and technology, humans discovered that the universe is much bigger than what we thought it was. We discovered that there are many more galaxies like our galaxy, each of which contains billions of stars. No one knows how the universe was formed. Most scientists believe that the universe originated due to the Big Bang. Yes, you have guessed it right. It is about a big, big explosion. According to the Big Bang theory, the universe began with a big explosion around 13.7 billion years ago. This explosion caused the universe to expand very rapidly. It is believed that everything that exists in the space, like all the matter and energy, came out of this explosion. In the first few moments, the universe was very hot, dense and filled with energy. But as it began expanding, the temperatures started dropping. This fall of temperature resulted into formation of first particle of matter from the energy. This was the formation of the first proton, neutron and electron. It was followed by formation of hydrogen and helium. After about 1 billion years of the Big Bang, the first stars and galaxies were formed. The birth of our solar system is believed to have taken place around 4.7 billion years ago. The most widely accepted theory to explain the birth of our solar system is the solar nebula theory. According to this theory, a giant nebula began to collapse around 4.7 billion years ago. The nebula was drawn together by its gravity. As the nebula collapsed, it started to spin. The spinning became faster as the nebula collapsed further. This spinning motion caused the formation of disk-like structure. The density and pressure was greatest at the center due to the spinning. The density and pressure eventually increased to such an extent that the process of nuclear fusion began to take place and a star was born. This was our sun. Meanwhile, the matter spinning around the sun began to cool down. This matter underwent a churning effect and resulted into accretion in which small particles collided with each other forming larger clumps known as planetesimals. The collision continued further and formed the early meteorites. These meteorites collided further and grew bigger in size to form the first asteroids. Asteroids were attracted by each other's gravity and collapsed into each other to form the first planetoids. As a result, 
of tremendous impact velocities of the asteroids, a lot of friction and heat was generated because of which the early planetoids were in a molten state. These planetoids eventually form the planets of our solar system as we know them today. Due to the gravity of Sun, the planets revolve around it in elliptical shaped orbits. So this was how most people believe our solar system came into existence. This was all for this session. In the next session, we will focus on the members of our solar system. Don't forget to watch. Thank you.